in our previous session we have understood about conditional statement and also we have seen what is switch statement now in this tutorial we are going to do some practical sums so that we will have clear understanding on conditional statement we are going to do practice sums on nested if as well as switch statements and we are going to perform these three programs we will see example of nested if we have seen simple if we have seen else if and also we have seen else if ladder but we have not seen the example of nested if we are going to see this similar to that we are going to see leap year program and finally we are going to make one simple calculator using switch statement i have opened my vs code editor inside this we are going to see our first program that is just in simple else if also we have seen whether the number is positive negative or zero now using the same concept we are going to perform program but we will be using nested if here i will just come i will just create one variable let number is equal to 10 if if the number is greater or equal to 0 if this condition becomes true inside this i will check one more condition and accordingly i will display if the number is less than 0 which means it is negative number console number is negative if this condition is false then directly i will come here i will get this result if this condition becomes true i will come here i will check inside this one if number is greater than zero then i am just going to display this number is positive number is positive else number is zero now i have given 10 so number is positive minus 10 number is negative and finally zero number is zero okay this is how we are going to nest this one we are just going to check for this condition if this condition becomes true it will come inside this if this condition is true i will get this result if this condition is false i will get this result it will not go to this else part directly if this condition becomes false it will not come inside this if block directly whatever i am having inside else that will be displayed okay this is how we are going to nest statements now similar let me just show you one more example i will comment it out we are going to compare two numbers now let num1 is equal to 10 let num2 is equal to 40 i have just given two numbers 10 and 40 inside this i am just going to check if num1 if it is greater than or equal to num2 then here also i'm just going to perform two things okay else first i will write else number is less than zero i will copy here i will paste and inside this i'm just going to write num1 is less than num2 if this condition fails which means num1 is less than num2 so i will be getting this one okay number one this number it is less than this number else here i am just going to write num1 if it is greater than num2 then directly i am just going to print i will copy i will paste it here it is greater else they both can be equal i will paste it here num1 is equal to num2 i will save this now you can see this condition became false because 10 is not greater than 40 and also 10 is not equal to 40 so it will not come inside this whatever i am having inside else that will be displayed 10 num is less than 40 let me just remove here number and also here i will save this n is less than 40 
now here if i just write here 70 now i will get 70 is greater than 40 because this condition becomes false 70 is greater than this 40 it will come inside this it will check for this yes this becomes true so i will get this result now if i write here 40 i will come inside this loop this condition becomes false then whatever i am having inside else that will be displayed that is 40 is equal to 40 okay these are the simple programs using nested if now we will see leap year program before going to leap year program let me just show you one simple flowchart okay, leap year as we all know when february is having 29 days that year is called as leap year and it will come once in four year so this is the flowchart i am just starting my program I will just give one year and inside this first it will check it is divisible by 4 or not if it is divisible by 4 if it is yes then it will check if it is divisible by 100 or not if it is not divisible by 4 directly I will get it is not a leap year if it is divisible by 4 I will check for this condition if it is divisible by 100 or not if it is not divisible by 100 then it is a leap year if it is divisible by 100 then i will check for this condition if the year it is divisible by 400 or not if it is divisible by 400 it is a leap year if it is not divisible by 400 it is not a leap year so basically we are going to check for two conditions divisible by 4 if it is yes we will check for another condition if it is no, we will get it is not a leap year. If it is yes, it will check if it is divisible by 100 or not. If it is not divisible by 100, directly it is a leap year. Because our first condition is true, this second condition fails. So whatever I am having inside else, that will be displayed. If it is not divisible by 100, then I will get it is a leap year. If it is divisible by 100, then I will be checking for this condition and accordingly I will get the result. So to get, you can just take any number, you can calculate by yourself and you can get the result. Now using programming, we are going to see about this. We are going to apply the same logic here. I will just write leap here or not. Now inside this, okay, we have not studied about prompt, but let me just create here. Let year is equal to prompt. Inside this, I'm just going to write enter. Enter a year. Okay, I have just created one prompt. Now if I save this, you can see I will be getting this kind of prompt inside this i'm just going to enter the number okay that is here now here i'm just going to check for the condition if i will check if this year is divisible by four and a remainder if it is equal to zero then it is a leap year and we will check for two more conditions else if this is not divisible by four then directly i will be getting it is not a leap year console.log and inside this I'm just going to write here is not a leap year okay what I have done if it is yes then I will come inside this if I will be checking for two more conditions if it is no directly I will get it is not a leap year so once I come inside this, I will be checking if this year, if it is divisible by 100 and if the remainder is 0, then I will be checking for one more condition. If the remainder is not 0, then directly I will just print it is a leap year. Year is a leap year. Okay, because in the flowchart also we have seen the same thing. If it is not divisible, we will get it is a leap year. If it is divisible, we will check for one more condition. 
so if this is true then i will come inside this i'm just going to check if this here if it is divisible by 400 then i'm just going to write here else first if it is not divisible then i will be getting this as my result if this is divisible then directly i will be getting this as my result if all these conditions are true first condition second condition third condition i will get it is a leap year first condition fails then i will get it is not a leap year first condition is true then it will check for this condition if this condition becomes true it will check here if this condition becomes false directly it will come here it will print it is a leap year if this condition fails i will be getting this one if this condition is true then this will check if this condition if if year is divisible by 400 if it is then i will get it is a leap year or else i will get it is not a leap year basically we are checking for three conditions and here also we are performing nested if else i will save this now here i am going to write here 2000 i will click on ok i will open console now you can see 2000 is a leap year when 2000 is divided by 4 i will get the answer as 0 so it will come inside this 2000 is divided by 100 then also i will get the answer as 0 then finally it will come here 2000 divided by 400 then this also becomes true then i will get this result so here i should be writing it is not a leap year i will copy and here i'm just going to paste now here i will write 3000 okay now i will come here now 3000 is not a leap year now let us check 3000 divided by 4 i will get the answer i will get the answer as 0 it will come inside this 3000 divided by 100 yes it is i will get the answer but 3000 divided by 400 i will not get the answer so directly i will get it is not a leap year okay it, i will not get the remainder as 0 so i will get it is not a leap year this is the program to find if the year is leap year or not using nested if same program i will be giving you as a practice use the same logic but using logical operators you have to build the same code and you have to get the result if you got the correct result and correct logic paste that code in comment so that it will be helpful for others okay it is a simple program to find your year is a leap year or not simple calculator using switch statement now inside this what i am going to do i am just going to create one variable operator and here also i am just going to write prompt enter operator enter any operator that is plus minus whatever it is enter any operator now i am just going to write here switch switch here i'll be passing operator now inside this we have to pass the cases case my first case is plus now when this case matches i just want to do addition log i will be doing num1 plus num2 and here i'm just going to define let num1 is equal to 10 let num2 is equal to 4 okay this is the first case i'm just going to do break i will come outside this then similar way subtraction i will copy the same thing and here i'm going to paste minus then again break copy paste paste okay, i will just come outside of this then multiplication then here it is division then finally i'm just going to give your modulus modulus operator similarly here also i'm just going to give into 
then here I will give division then finally here I'm just going to give modulus final our last case will be default one okay if nothing is matches I will get default copy paste I am default I will save this now I'm just going to enter operator plus I will click on OK now the answer is 14 because 10 plus 4 is 14 and I have given the operator as plus so in the same way I will give here minus OK I will open console I will get the result as 6 10 minus 4 is 6 I will get that same result same way I will give here into 10 fours are 40 so I should be getting the result as 40 similarly I will give division 10 divided by 4 the answer should be 2.5 same thing I got finally we have this modulus 10 modulus of 4 I should be getting the answer as 2 okay directly I got this result now if I don't give anything other than this operator if I just give something here I will be getting the default case that is I am default okay this is the simple calculator using switch statement same thing you can also perform using if else but in switch statement it becomes little bit easy so the homework for you is same leap year you have to do using logical operators okay i hope you understood about if statement if else statement nested if and also about switch statements next we are going to see about iteration statements